If you speak to a Christian and talk about profit lot the answer would be bewilderment. This has been quite surprising to me but now, I think, I have figured out the reason. Let me share it with those who might find it astonishing, different, or simply an Islamic POV. The answer lies in a series of assertions. 1. Why Virgin Mary, Miriam, is depicted as God forbid, an infidel. To justify the rampant and pervasive infidelity, which is committed with impunity. Married slash infidel cannot be virgin. 2. Why Jesus does not speak in childhood, in Christianity, because he testified of his prophecy and against any infidelity committed thereby absolving Mary. This very fact shakes the very foundation of Christianity and invalidates the impunity granted to by design infidelity. 3. Why Jesus is Son of God and not a prophet, because, in addition to above, there would be no difference between Christianity and Judaism, and Islam as well, despite an accepted fact that Jesus Christ was a Jew. Surprisingly he gave a religion, Christianity, which he never brought or practiced. Similarly acknowledging Prophet Lot would mean trashing out the created edifice of GBTL. What struck me, however, is the vehement defense of GBTL but much severer contempt of those not approving. This vehemence is anecdotal and was meted out even at the time of Prophet Lot. Prophet Lot was threatened to be an outcast if he did not stop the opposition to sodomy. He nevertheless, replied, I am hateful to your act he didn't say though that I hate you, sodomist. It is suggestive of an appropriate behavior for people. The divine punishment meted out was that the town was lifted up and thrown back on the ground. The punishment deduced, therefore, is that a sodomist should be crushed to death by throwing a wall on him or he should be thrown from a height. Hanavi school of thought exclusively.